This 10 million coin setup allows you to one tap void glooms. This 11 million coin setup is better than God Rolled Aurora. This 3 million coin minion upgrade is better than some of the best minions in the game. In this video, I'll be reviewing some of the cheapest and most underrated items that you should be using. There is an item called the Souls Rebound that makes all the mobs you hit invincible for 5 seconds. Now that sounds like a garbage ability. But once the 5 seconds are over, the mob takes all the damage you did in the 5 seconds at once with a little 20% damage boost. Which is still garbage. Cause if you aren't one tapping a mob, why are you even playing Skyblock? I don't mean it's completely useless, as some people use it for bosses like Sven. But for things like Void Glooms, it's not really that good, as you won't be able to one tap it in 5 seconds. All you'll get is a 20% damage boost. But what if there was a way to deal an insane amount of damage during those 5 seconds? Well, that's where Crimson Armor comes into play. There used to be a bug that gave you infinite attack speed but it was patched. Or so we thought. Crimson Armor doesn't give infinite attack speed for regular mobs. But it still works if you aren't dealing any damage to the mob. And if you combine the ability of the Souls Rebound and Crimson Armor, with literally base tier Crimson, you can deal over 10 million damage. How it works is, you get 10 kills and then just... And if you want high CPS, you should buy... Never mind. Anyways, once the 5 seconds are over, the mob takes all the damage you dealt. My CPS and damage is low, so I can't really show how good it is, but it's good. Now to test the setup on Enderman Slayer. Just hit the Ender... Just... J Sorry about that, I was supposed to use explosive arrows. Now just but. Haha, <laughs> I was just kidding. All I need to do is hit all the targets and I'm done. Attempt 1. Attempt two. Attempt twelve. Is blind. <sighs> Finally. Okay, now to buy some coal and imagine making short and actually good guides. Couldn't be me. So with a Vorpal Katana and Full Crimson, I dealt over 20 million damage to Void Glooms. But with high CPS and a decent setup, you can legit one tap a T4 Void Gloom. In most video games, you work for hours, gathering items, resources, and coins. What losers, right? In Skyblock, you watch Netflix while holding a few buttons. And if you don't even want to do that much, all you need to do is buy some mandatory volunteers and then use them to make some money. Now when it comes down to it, there are three really good minion upgrades for coins. The Diamond Spreading, Corrupt Soil, and Lesser Soul Flow Engine. Now the diamond spreading isn't that good when compared to the other two, so yay! Now the other two items are the corrupt soil and the lesser soul flow engine. Both of them are really good, so let's compare the two. To compare them, I got two tier 5 rabbits. And look, I even made a really nice dirt house for them. But then I realized the house was too small. And I got kicked for trying to break the house. So I placed 4 hyper catalysts in both of them and decided to check them after 24 hours. And the corrupt soil minion made 225k coins. And with the lesser soul flow engine, I made 293k coins. Also, the soul flow production is not affected by the fuel used. So I would have still made over 200k coins with no fuel at all. And if anyone is wondering, with the enchanted hopper, I got this many coins. People spend hundreds of millions on God Rolled Aurora. But there's a pet that gives 60% mana regen for just 11 million coins. In comparison, maxed out God Rolled Aurora gives 40%. It is called the Guardian. And I'll be comparing it with the sheep. First, let's compare the spamming ability. With the sheep pet, Guardian pet in water and the Guardian pet away from water and as you can see, the sheep is miles ahead of both of them. But it does seem like mana regen works as I lasted longer in water. And finally, let's compare mana regen for the sheep pet 
guardian pet in water and the guardian pet outside of water. And as expected, the guardian pet was the fastest in water. But the guardian in land wasn't that slow though. From my tests, I can conclude that the sheep pet is way better for combat because of the ability damage and the mana reduction. And the guardian is quite useless in combat. But you might want a rod swap to a guardian if you want to quickly regen your mana as you'll be saving a few seconds which could be really helpful in Kudra. So unless you've got a sub-zero wisp, I think you should buy a level 100 legendary guardian if you think you can afford to spend 11 million to save 3 seconds. Now some players already know this, but beacons are important. A tier 5 beacon will buff your minion speed by 10%, which might not sound like a lot, but over the long run it is a lot. Let's say you use T7 red sand minions, making around 213k per day and have 26 minion slots. With a tier 5 beacon, you should be able to make 232k coins per day, meaning a 19k buff to all minions, meaning you'd be making 456k per day. Now you need power crystals to fuel your beacons and they cost around 800k coins in the bazaar. So don't buy them from the bazaar. Use the force, Luke. Get some starfall and convert it to a power crystal using the forge. If you do this, you can get one power crystal for just 673k coins and it makes 456k coins per day. Now if you do the math, you'd be making negative profit if you don't know how to read. As the power crystals buff your minions for 48 hours or 2 days, meaning you'd be making 900k coins or over 100k profit every day. On top of that, you'll also get buffs like plus 5 ability damage. Yeah, the video's done. I hope this helped. Also, this took a lot of work. So, if you watched the video, subscribe. Thank you. 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 Thank